If you've never worked on the set of a big budget TV show before, your first time can be totally crazy. It's hectic, there's a ton of people standing around watching you do your thing, and there's also a lot of protocol that actors have to be aware of. Once you're past that audition process and you've actually booked the job, the reality sets in that you may know how to play the scene, but you have no idea what to expect from the work environment. My name is Chris Agos, and I'm gonna help you get ready for your first day on set. If you show up to set your first day at work and you have no idea what to expect, that can really shut down your brain and get in the way of the acting that you're there to do. So we don't want that. I shot over 20 episodes of Chicago PD on NBC, and I'm going to use that experience as a jumping off point for this video. So let's stick with something simple. Let's say you booked a nice co-star role and it shoots for one day. And let's say you're like a bartender or a witness to a crime. Something that is a functionary role. You push the story along. Shortly after your deal is negotiated and you're officially booked, you should get a call from the costume department. Now they're gonna to wanna to confirm your sizes. They're probably gonna ask you to come in for a fitting too. They'll do some shopping for you or maybe they'll go through their inventory and pull a couple of things. And then when you go to your fitting, you'll try it on. They'll take some pictures of you, send it off to the director and hopefully he or she will sign off on it and Boom, one thing ticked off the list. Now about those sizes, you definitely wanna tell the truth about this because if you fib and they wind up having to do some more shopping or pull some more stuff for you to try on, that's just wasting their time. And rule number one is never waste anybody's time on set because there is just too little of it. Around this same time, you're probably also gonna be contacted by your second AD or your second second AD. They're going to want to confirm your shoot schedule, let you know that, yes, you actually are shooting on a certain day. And they also might have a little bit of information regarding the shoot location. Usually, they just want to introduce themselves and make sure you don't have any questions. You should be added to the script distribution lists, which is great. You want to be on those because as updates come in, you need to be aware of them. If you show up on set and you've memorized something that is different from everybody else, you are screwed. Rule number two of working on set, stay on top of the distribution list. You want to stay on top of the updates. A lot of shows do table reads where the cast and heads of different departments all gather around a table, hence the name, and they read through the script for the first time. This is just a chance for everybody to kind of hear the words out loud and for anybody who has any questions or concerns to bring it up with the writers. If you've been invited to the table read, this will be your first time to meet everybody. But this is not a time to schmooze. Remember, this might be super exciting for you, but it is just another day at work for everybody else. Do everyone a favor and be cordial, but don't be too sociable. And please, if you're starstruck by the series regulars, just lay low on that. On shoot day, you definitely want to show up at least 15 minutes early. You'll be given directions and parking instructions, and when you arrive, you want to let somebody know that you're there. This is going to take the stress off of your second second AD, who is in charge of you for the entire day. So if after you park, you're not quite sure where to go, just find somebody with a walkie-talkie, and they'll be able to get you wherever you need to be. Remember, if you're not on time, your second second AD is going to be blowing up your phone wondering where you are. If you're late, that second second AD is going to be miserable because they're going to have people breathing down their neck. You can ruin a lot of people's day if you're late. So rule number three, show up early. You're a pro now. Pros get there early. Once you do make contact with your second AD, they're going to show you to your trailer. Rule number four of working on set, always be really, really nice to your second second AD. Like I said, they're responsible for you from the minute you get there until the minute you leave. They work really hard and they multitask constantly, so you don't want to be one of the things they have to worry about. Plus, pro tip, if you're really nice to them, they might be able to get you a better trailer than your role actually calls for. All right, we got you through the fitting, we got you through the table read, we've got you in your trailer. Next up, we're going to talk about actually working on set and how to behave like you've been there before. If you found this video even remotely interesting, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing because this is the first in a three video series about what to expect your first time on set. I don't want you to miss out on the other two parts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.